It says in Luke chapter 2, And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. That all the world should be taxed. <laughs> the word there, tax, is a very interesting word. It's a Greek word, apographo, apographo. And that word means exactly what is stated there, to be taxed. It means also to be enrolled, to be registered. But I want to look at one aspect of it, to write off, apographo, to write off. So in that one word, two things are happening. You can be registered or you can be written off. And in a sense, every one of us are going to be registered or written off. You are registered to be part of the family of God or you're written off. But on the flip side, there's a time, a good place for being written off. That is when your debt is written off. There's a good place for that. When your debt is not registered. But the full application of that thought is this. That on one flip side... God registers you in and writes off what does not belong in your life. I like those two sides of the coin when it flips on the God side. Don't you? Well, what do you want? Everybody was sent back to their hometown, to their roots. You had to go back to your roots to get registered. What is your root? The fact is that the Bible tells us that God created us in his image and his likeness. So your real roots are with God. And if you want to thrive, you must get connected back to your roots. If you take a fish out of water and you put it on dry land, what will happen to it? It will die. Because that is not his habitation. If you're not connected back to your eternal habitation with God, you die. It doesn't matter how amazing you might feel and, well, these are fake plants. But the reality is, if you were to go to the store and you bought a rose. Is that rose alive or dead? It's dead. But once upon a time, when it was attached to the main plant, it was what? Alive. But as soon as you cut it off, 
it begins to die. It might look like it's still alive and everything is well with it because, wow, that little bloom opens up and you think it's growing. No, it's dead. It's dead. It's dead because it's been cut off from its roots. So it is with every one of us. When we don't stay connected with God, we die. You came out of God and you return back to God. You must continue to be a God person or you die. And so at the very beginning of the story of Jesus Christ, his birth, apographo. There was a taxing. There was a census. It is, how do you say this? There was no reason for a census for you to go back to your hometown if it was just for the counting of the people. Hello? Because I get counted here because I'm in Canada. I don't go back to Nigeria to be part of the census there. I'm here. I get counted here. Because in this place where I am, that's where the impact of a census takes place. The government divides its funds for infrastructure, for education, for whatever it is, based on the fact that this is where I am. So it was unnecessary to send people to their hometown other than God was trying to make a point. And the point is, get back to your roots. Your roots in God. Get back there. Because that's where you're going to be counted. That's where you're going to live. Christmas is about getting back to our roots. Recognizing there is a God who loves me with an everlasting love. A God who is calling me out of darkness into his marvelous light. A God who was to infuse me with kingdom experience. A God who wants me healed, restored, and made every with whole. Tonight, if there is anyone here, hearing my voice right this very moment, and you know, you know, you know, in yourself, you know what? I need to get back to my roots. Then I invite you to do that. Is there somebody here tonight that really needs to make that connection? Let me pray with you. Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord, for this great congregation. All these sons and daughters gathered here tonight. I thank you, Lord, that your word is activated in their lives. They are registered. Their names are written in the book of life. And Lord, because their names are written in the book of life, everything else that does not belong to their life is written off. And it's a new day, a fresh start. Blessed be your holy name. May all your people celebrate your goodness. May they celebrate your faithfulness. And may they boldly, as a song was sung a moment ago, go tell it on the mountains. Father, we receive the grace the boldness, the fortitude to do so. Let in our light shine. 
that the world may know that you love it and your desire is the best for them. Blessed be your holy name, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Merry Christmas and a blessed forthcoming new year. This is the season we celebrate the greatest gift God gave mankind, the gift of his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. We bless you in that name that is above every other name. And we celebrate this time together, knowing that God has blessed us with his gift. At this time, the family of Glory and Peace Church and Mike Zeno Ministries want to encourage you to enjoy this time, knowing that God loves you. And we would like to ask, at this time of giving, will you consider giving a gift of faith to help us as a ministry continue to reach the world with the love of God. Thank you so very much. Merry Christmas and a blessed new year.